Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of my Blender Tips series. This time we will be talking again about uh, subtitles, captions, I'm not sure what the difference is. Anyway, any kind of text that's written on movies. And this time I'm going to show you how to quickly create uh, many, many uh, subtitles. Uh, starting from a text file that you have uh, created. And with the font and color and everything all the properties that you desire. So we have our uh, movie here in the video sequence editor and to to start creating subtitles it's uh, highly recommended to create a new scene with uh, the same settings so that the render uh, resolution is the same we call it subtitles because in this scene we will be um, we will be rendering only the subtitles. We go to the default view again. We need to make sure that subtitles is selected. There is not even a camera here, so we have to create it. We go to the top view by pressing 7, Shift A to add objects. We choose the camera. Uh, I press N to see the properties, and I want it to set it at. 10, like height, doesn't really matter. Then I press 0 to see through the camera. This rectangle is exactly what the camera will be seeing. And we add our text. I'm not going to spend much time of this because there are plenty of tutorials on how to create text uh, in Blender. Um, so let's put it. Uh, we go to the fonts tab, we change some properties like I want it to be centered, press tab to go into edit mode and change the text to something that I like. Um, this is a sample, let's make it a bit long. Um, Okay. Ooh. Uh, I blame the screencast software that's making my computer slow. So all these key mistakes, they're not my fault. And uh, I want to make it a bit smaller. Not too small because the point is that I want to show you how to wrap the text because when you have a lot of text and it's read from an external file you never know if it's going to fit or not so it's always better to have a text box here we set the width uh, and an offset so this is in blender units you we can count count one two three four so they are eight uh, and half nine let's say um, but let's keep some borders for us let's say 8.5 and here if we want it to be centered it's 8.5 let's have blender do the math for us 8.5 divided by 2 thank you blender so it's perfectly centered and we want it to be vertically aligned to the bottom so it will never go below this no matter how long the text is uh, we add some material I'm trying to do the things as simple as possible what color is less disturbing okay this and a bit more bright that is shadeless I don't want to if I set shadeless it will have this color no matter what the lamps are in fact there are no lamps in this scene this looks good we need to make the background transparent so we go to the uh, properties tab and shading the alpha we set to transparent one thing more we want to have some uh, border about around the text and we do with the freestyle uh, I'm not going to explain this. There is I made a, another tutorial in this channel about uh, generating uh, text with a border using freestyle. So I will not explain it again. We'll just be quick now. And uh, well, 
the default settings should be okay let's see okay the border is very thin let's make it a bit bigger the thickness set it to four and on the outside of the object okay looks good so we are satisfied with this uh, what we could do now if we have just a couple of lines we can just duplicate this um, text object let me just see only the objects in this scene otherwise it's quite confusing okay we could duplicate this object and uh, modify it and then we set the, the visibility to different frames or we could just change the text every time we want to change uh, the line but um, what is the the issue with this is that if later you you want to change you realize that um, the color is not good the font is not good uh, you have to redo all the subtitles and if you have plenty of them well it's a big loss of time you don't want to do that um, so what I am proposing you is that you use the add-on that I created just yesterday which you can download from here I will write the link in the description let me go to the first page okay this is the page of the repository this is the add-on you click here and then this icon here is to download the to open the raw code and you can save it to your home for example then we go back to blender and we import we enable the add-on user preferences install from file here it is caption generator all is good but it needs to be enabled and it's in the testing uh, tab so make sure you press here otherwise you will not see it and enable this okay and well then of course we need the text that we want to write so let's open a text editor it can be really any text editor but it must write uh, files in plain text so wordpad for windows is okay if you use linux uh, well there are plenty of them um, text line number one some other line you can have white space it's uh, going to be ignored um, I'm getting a bit tired of this and so do you okay this is our text we save it uh, captions.txt we can close it now okay now make sure that our object is the active object well it will be because it's the only one in the scene but just to be sure then to invoke our plugin you press the space bar and you search for caption caption generator is our add-on you click on that and you select the text file where your uh, captions are and the miracle has happened um, it doesn't look uh, very good but it is correct you you can see here that more uh, objects have been generated your existing object has been modified and the visibility is set to uh, false to all of them but just because we are not on the right uh, frame now if we go to the beginning of the scene uh, frame one you will see that we are here then we go to the next frame the other line okay the word wrapping is working this was a bit long indeed okay so all our lines are here and you can see that also the end frame of the scene has been automatically changed to the number of subtitles so 
just let me explain once again in case I was not clear what this plugin has done is that it has read the lines from the text file from each line it has created a text object by copying the settings from the one that we had so they all have the same color and uh, style and position and the bounding box as the first one let's give it a, a render just to to see that it has our material that we chose before and the freestyle uh, contour and this is now ready to be rendered as an animation so if you go to the properties tab and you make sure that the okay the render resolution is 100 percent frame rate doesn't really matter because we are going to render this as png files make sure that it's a rgba if you have alpha transparency and we just need to choose uh, an output uh, directory so we go to videos uh, let's create a new directory here um, subtitles and let's call it uh, title this is the base name and then a progressive number will be appended to, appended to each of the generated frames now we are rendering our animation and meanwhile we can already go to to see with an image editor what is happening uh, so it's in videos subtitles here are our subtitles you see they are transparent with just our text okay I guess that the generation is completed uh, we go back to blender ask we move to the video editor make sure that your scene is selected and at this point we can import the subtitles like this shift a add image we find our subtitles we press a to select all of them add image strip now this is not correct it has loaded them in a single image this is not what we want uh, but we will fix this in a moment we make sure that the blending mode is set to alpha over and at this point blender gives you a nice function that is separate images separate images length uh, I guess this is the length of each uh, subtitle so suppose that you have 24 frames per second and you want it to be so 24 frames per second and you want every subtitles to last 3 seconds you can do like this 24 times 3 let's see 72 wow and then you press ok and all the subtitles are here text line 1 the second one and the third one let me zoom out a bit so it's uh, clear what it has done and then of course you can move them press G you see you can move them okay you certainly don't want to rub them one over the other but uh, that's it okay now what if at a certain point you realize that this subtitle is not readable or just like in this case you see that this font is just too big you don't like it um, so the sad thing is that you have to go back all over and regenerate them uh, the nice thing is that it's not very time-consuming thing to do uh, let me show you how it's done so you need to select all these objects if you do I just found out that if you do select all by type and press font you see that only two have been selected uh, because all the others are not visible so the first thing to do is with your cursor here in the 3d view you press alt H to make everything visible okay and at this point you go here select all by type and you choose font 
then if you want to keep uh, the first one you can do that by deselecting it you sh press shift and you click uh, you left click on the on the text object here all the others are selected and at this point you, pr you can press X here in the 3d view and delete and they are all deleted this time you uh, select the first one again you can now uh, wait wrong tab you go to the font tab you can reduce the size okay this is better you can change the font at this point uh, I'm not going to do that just not to waste your time but again let's invoke the plugin caption generator our captions and it's done already let's go here okay as you can see like this big line uh, now it's it could even fit in a movie well uh, three lines are probably too many but anyway we can quickly go and regenerate them in a while it will be done and the nice thing is that once this has finished we can go to the video sequence editor and it should be automatically updated with a new text so this is a very fast way to create many many uh, lines of text many many uh, I'd say frames images of, uh, of text based on a template uh, that you prepare so you prepare only the first item and then all the others are generated based off that one I hope you like this tutorial uh, I hope that you will find this add-on useful see the description for the links and uh, have fun with Blender bye bye